I, I want to show you a clip of something that our, I, I was in here on Wednesday night when our junior hires and high schoolers um, had a meeting together and talk about, talk about a, a teenager living up to his potential. They had an 18-year-old kid speak on Wednesday night to several hundred high school and junior high students in this room. And I just kind of sat in the back and listened in. And it was so powerful, and they happened to record it, videotape it. And I want to show you a clip from it. So if you guys will watch the screens. This is almost eight weeks ago. I go up to Stanford Hospital, get the bomb out, the pop, whatever. Results come back. Fourth time, the doctors have had to tell my parents, your son has leukemia again for a fourth time. I know, I feel like I should be in Ripley's, believe it or not. It's crazy. Um, a few days later, the doctors had asked us to come back up to go over what options that I had. I'm 18 now, so I can, um, basically, I can, it's up to me, and my parents can't change that. So, the oncologist comes in and basically for a five minute talk he says there's nothing that we can do for you we can give you chemotherapy we can do some treatment but inevitably it will not work no third bone marrow no more chemotherapy, nothing is going to work. There's no pill, there's no, there's no nothing. So I, I asked him, with nothing, how long do you give me? Well, first he says, you need to get a crying baby. <laughs> I didn't believe that either. Um, <laughs> he says, it's your own individual blood Everyone's blood is different. It reacts differently. Um, there's no, there's no like hammer on the nail, like time. It's 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 really hard. It can vary. But I did get this out of him. This was almost two months ago. He said maybe three months, plus or minus. That was two months ago. And I'm still here. Me being here tonight is no accident. I'm dying of a disease. No. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm dying from a blessing that was given to me by God. People ask me a lot of questions, and later I'll bring that up to you guys if you guys have any questions. But one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, hey, Clayton, are you scared? And usually I just say, no, I'm not scared. Because uh, I don't really feel like talking right then or explaining myself. But inside, yes, yes, I am. I am terrified. I am mortified. But not for myself. Not for cancer. I've been doing this. I've been on this train for 12 years. This is my fourth time. I know what's going to happen. I know the feelings, I know all the needles, I know all the pains that's gonna come with it, I know that, I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of dying either because I know where I'm going when I die. I know I'm going to heaven because when I was little, I, was, I still am little, but when I was younger, don't mock me, when I was younger, I confessed with my mouth and believed in my heart that Jesus is Lord and that he is the only way into heaven. And I believed that. And I know that. And I was able to do that because God sent his only son to earth to die on the cross for my sins 
and your sins because he loves us so much. That is why I was able and I, and I know that I'm going to heaven. So I'm not scared for where I'm going when I die. I'm scared for everyone else. I'm scared for, the, for all the people who don't know where they're going where they're, when they die. I'm scared for the people that might think they know where they're going when they die. I'm scared for all the people who are distracted by this, by this world that is controlled by Satan, especially for you guys, because you're in America, and this is Satan's country. I'm scared for everyone that's distracted by friends, by iPods, by video games, by movies, by having a roof over your head, by feeling secure, or by feeling comfort, or by having 20 bucks in your pocket. See, I'm dying. So it's not hard for me to live every day like it's gonna be your last because tonight I easily can go into a coma and never wake up from it. It's not hard for me to be thankful for life when I know that tomorrow I might not have it. And it's not hard for me to be thankful for my friends because I know that I might not ever see them again very soon. Yes, I'm dying. But wait, here's the kicker. So are you guys. We all have a, have a clock, have a timeline of when we're gonna kick the bucket. And for me, I have the luxury of knowing about when I might go. See, I, I, I feel sorry for you guys because you guys don't know when you're gonna die. I do. So everyone, everyone that's, that, has, that, that is blinded by this world and is not living every day like it could be their last, which is very well could be. I feel sorry for you guys. So these, those are the people that I'm afraid of. The people that are blinded, the people who don't know where they're going when they die, and the people that think they know where they're going when they die, but they really don't. 